We gotta take an egg carrier because apparently Amy's campaign is super short. I, I swear there's more than two levels. It's gotta be. I suck. And uh, in the cutscene, we what? were we were in the jail, and then and uh, you have. I was about to question why you're hitting Sonic, but then I remember this is Eggman ship. But uh, you had. <clears throat> Egg, or Amy was in jail, and Evil 102 Gamma was there, and she was like, why, why don't you let me free? And then, and then, and then Gamma learned how to love, and then he let her go. I beat Eggman's score. You get a good hammer if you get a really good score. I can't believe this. What's the score to get the hammer? I don't fucking know. Who cares? Just you go. Get the warrior feather. Oh, you got a feather. Thanks, Marquis. What? It was a Marquis. The Mar Mar Marquis. Scrolling. Marquis. What's the spin hammer? That? How do you do it? You just. I think you just hold down the B and then. Yeah, I tried that. It doesn't actually work as good as you would think. Also, you get dizzy, and the life bar from <laughs> from Yoshi Yoshi's story appears around your head. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going through hot shelter now. There's got to be more more of this than that. Than two stages? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I think this is the last one. I can't remember any other stages. That's what I'm thinking. Is there not one in uh, Red Canyon? No. Is there not one in Emerald Coast? Nope. Is there not one in Cassinopolis? I think this might be the last level. Yeah. You didn't miss anything. This is two levels. Is this the second robot? It, lo it looks like. Yeah. No, there's, there's only or one robot. zero. You gotta... There is zero. There he is. Bye, bud. Why did you jump so far that <laughs> when you were Fuck. jumping earlier? Wait, what are you talking about? Well, you jumped and you jumped I, I, really I think, far ahead. I think I oh, he just kind of popped you up. I think I exploded something. Get get that get that bomb oh. up in the air. If you if you got that little bomb up in the air, it'll kill every enemy on the screen. If not you, zero. Not zero, but it would have killed those monkeys. Well, that little dance she does. Yeah, she's, she's got she's she's got a little little twirly thing going on. There must be a dude. I learned that from playing big, thank you very much. Now how do I get over there? You'll see. Uh uh. Even I knew that. Ah. I don't know why I said even. But I still knew Oh, that. I landed on one of those things. Oh. I don't know why. I guess Zero just shows up at certain places. He doesn't. He's not always there chasing after you. It reminds me of a scene in uh, one of the PS1 ah! horror games that I watched what my parents play, where like a big fat dude would like bust out of walls and shit, like at, at, at certain points in the game. What am I, what am I doing here? I don't. <laughs> did, did you see what Takal has to say? Okay. Good. Figure it out. But uh, I can't remember if it was Silent Hill or Resident Evil or neither, but there's a part where you were running... That's that's Silent Hill. You were running from a big fat dude in a PS1 game? I'm pretty sure it's Silent Hill. It may have he been. He crashes through the wall. Yeah. I think that's Silent Hill. Oh, God. I don't know how that I hurt I think me. you were playing as a girl. What the fuck? I can't, this I camera is such shit! But I don't think you play as a, as a little girl in Silent Hill 1. Yeah, you do. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. No. I thought you just play as that dude. Yeah, the you play as that dude. Silent Hill 2, I know you play as a girl. Yeah, but this was on PS1. Maybe in Resident Evil then. I don't think you play as a little girl in that yeah, either. You play as that you play as, as Jill. She's not a little girl though. I mean this was like a kid. She didn't uh, have any uh, defenses. I'm pretty I I don't know. I think Was there not a Silent Hill game on the another Silent Hill game on I think it was just one. Go away! I, uh, I'll have to see that, to see what that was. I remember my mom playing an RPG on PS1, and it turned out to be Wild Guns. 
I, I used to think that it was just Kingsfield. I thought that Kingsfield a long time ago was a top-down RPG, but I was wrong. It was always a first person. There is a game that I played at my at my friend's house a long, long time ago. So PS1 is an RPG. It's a turn-based, like, Final Fantasy-esque JRPG thing. And your character has, like, blue hair. And at the beginning of the game, you, like, you're, you, you get training from some old dude. And he then, like, later there's a world map and everything. And then you go over to some place, this castle. It's got skeletons there, and you fight them. And I want to find that game and play it again, because I don't know if it's good or not. But I want it to be. And I think everybody everybody I ask is Legacy of Ligaya, but I'm not sure if it's Legacy of Ligaya. Was it Brave Fencer Misashi? Don't know. Uh, that guy's got blue hair. It may have been Wild Guns. I think he's got blue hair, too. I know the... Yeah, but that's like a western kind of thing, isn't it? I don't remember it being really western. It's called I mean, Wild Guns. I imagine there's guns. This guy had a sword. Yeah, but... When I when I was remembering it, I was remembering like like a like some kind of European fantasy town, because I, I distinctly remember a scene where uh, some major event happens after. Because my mom was reading out of a guidebook and she was reading what was going <laughs> to happen. It, it, it's a mom. What do you expect? And uh, she said it, she said there's going to be a scene where a little boy lets go of a red balloon and then something is going to happen. And uh, that's that's pretty much all I remembered from Wild Guns. And I asked Reddit on their tip of my tongue subreddit, and what is this? Uh, and they oh yeah you gotta pick those up and put them in the right thing. What? Pick those up, put them in the right thing. Oh, I can. Okay, I didn't think I could walk on this. X. Boop, 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 boop. No, I said X. <sighs> no, don't move. Guess stay perfectly still. Okay. <laughs> Was it Chrono Cross? No. I, re I think I remember the cover having a guy with blue hair. Yeah, Chrono Cross character, the main character does have blue hair, but it wasn't Chrono Cross. Was it Suikoden? I think it's probably Legacy of the Gaia, but I never tried. You missed it. Oh, wow. I never tried to play it. I don't know where to find it. I mean, I'm sure I could find an ISO somewhere, but I just probably find a video or something, so you don't waste your time. That's true. How did he do that? Did you see that? What? How he just appeared in front of me? He's a. Uh, I don't know. This is a really long level. I wonder if there, there's a name for that trope. Probably find it on TV tropes, like, uh, like chase enemy that appears when uh, when when most inconvenient. I hate I hate how Reddit like anytime somebody brings up TV tropes, they're like, oh, go oh, I guess I will be gone for four hours. Yeah, I guess I'll have to leave Reddit for a little bit. Even I've been on Reddit all day, but I guess I'll have to go to a different site all day. Fuck you. Quit acting like ha having a ADHD is funny or some shit. Like, really, I go to TV Tropes and I read the thing and then I'm done. I may go to another one, but I don't act like it's a big fucking deal. I mean, lots of websites have that. If I watch a Game Grumps animated, I'm just gonna keep watching Game Grumps animated. Like, oh, oh that looks like a funny one in the sidebar, I'm gonna click that, and then like an hour later, it happens. It's not exclusive to TV Tropes. I also hate how they talk about fucking Nicolas Cage all the time. Yeah, I hear more about Nicolas Cage. I see Nicolas Cage more on Reddit than I do in movies. He's the one true god. Like, that's a, shut the... He's got a funky face. So fucking... Who, who, who cares? And like, a lot of actors do. And I, I like Nicolas Cage's stuff. I, I love... I love... I love National Treasure movies. Those are great movies. Those are a national treasure. They're national treasures. They should be... Fuck the declaration. Put a DVD of that there. <laughs> Everybody will be wondering why they're stealing a DVD of that movie. <laughs> and then they're going to make a movie of it called <laughs> Declaration of Independence. <laughs> but yeah, did you like those movies? I saw the first one I liked it. I never saw the second one. Uh, I think there's a third one, too. It probably sucks. <laughs> but, uh... 
I, like I don't it. think there's a third one. I'm pretty. I think we saw like a little bit of a third one in history class. Cause I saw one and two multiple times in history classes. Cause that's history. Yeah. <laughs> it's an accurate <laughs> representation of history. Uh, history. In my experience, most of the teachers that just don't give a shit are history teachers. Oh God, yeah. Because no, because most of the time, they're like because a history degree is like the easiest to get for uh, for teaching. And um, if you're coaching, you gotta teach or something. Yeah, like that. you have to be able to teach some things, and so they, you know. What do you have to say? Say something. Uh, but uh, I I really love those kind of movies. It was really cool seeing all those like like old contraptions and shit happening yeah. and junk. You know who else was really pretty good? What is it? The Mummy. I never saw it. You never saw it? No. I used to, I used to, I used where do I go? What do we do? Uh, try going, taking a right left up here. Yeah, that one. She's right. so slow. Go. Fucking. You probably see Tikal loafing around somewhere. I like that. Loafing around. That's fun. That's a fun word. That's why, you know, that's why I like uh, slacking. In Pokemon Emerald, because he loafs around every other turn, and like he's very strong. If you can, uh, like he has really like almost people call him pseudo legendary st st stats. So like he's like really powerful for a regular Pokemon. If you and I worked at a bakery together, you would probably hate me after a week because I would not stop saying, "Hey, you loafing around." <laughs> Dude, let's let's open a bakery. Yeah, let's open a bakery. Yeah. I don't know the first thing about bakerying, but it can't be that hard. It really can't be. We just gotta open in the right location, and where the fuck? What? D? You hear me pressing buttons? I thought you were handing me the controller. Uh, did you go up the stairs to the monument? Yeah. The monumental, the monumental. waits awaits the above. The monumental waits the, the above. Monumental awaits the above. What would do? I had no idea what to do when she told me the monumental awaits the above. I didn't either. Because I didn't now know I, what the monumental was. Now, every time I start the game and I find, and I get to the monumental, I always leave a message. That says here. <laughs> God damn it, this is. <sighs> I think the messages had a little bit more humor to them in uh, Demon Souls. Because they, they would say stuff like. Uh, Poor guy. Yeah, like, poor guy and stuff like that. In Dark Souls, all you had was, like, praise the sun, I can't take this. Bean pole. <laughs> but, like... I like, can see her panties, man. This, She's, like, four. So what? It's just like Minnie Mouse. You always see Minnie Mouse's panties. I've never seen Minnie Mouse's panties. Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, have I ever seen Minnie Mouse's panties? I'm not sure I understand. Me either. Have uh, Siri, have I seen many mouths is panties? Many mouth <laughs> like dead mouth. Dead mouth. So, when you said it you were talking like uh Christopher Walken. Wow. <laughs> Siri, have I, I seen many mouths? What go up those stairs again. Run around the monumental. Because maybe Tikal and her dad or whatever are probably up there or some shit. Because I don't... I mean, I saw something up here. Like an entrance. Oh, that was close. And... Can't do anything with this. Uh, is Tikal at the entrance or the, at the bottom of those stairs? Uh, maybe you gotta go in that way. Maybe you just gotta go to those doors. I think there's a campaign where you gotta do that, where you just gotta turn around and go in. Yep! Told you. That is the dumbest shit! It starts you at that door, facing the other way, and you have to come here. And you come up here, and then a, then a cutscene of, of Chow's burning or some shit happens. No, that's with Sonic. Oh, it is? Or Knuckles, or the Tails. One of <laughs> Three-fifths of the game. Or three six, one half of the game. One half of the characters you can play as in the game. 
They couldn't think of another character other than Big, though. They have so many characters to choose from in the Sonic universe. And they're like, we need another character just to make it six. And we already made E102 Gamma, especially for this game. Should we do one for Eggman? Or should we do one for, I don't know, fucking Sally, Sally Acorn? Or should we do one for Rotor? Should we do one for... Should... Oh, what's happening? Uh, what other kids are there? Is there a boss? Or is this the end? That's the end. That's the end of Amy's campaign, everybody. I don't think that's the end yet. Hope you liked it. Oh. It was uh, fun. That, it was great. That, 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 that finding the thing took longer than it actually took us to beat levels. Hey, there's Tails. Tails. I thought it was Cream at first. Oh. Oh, we're still doing stuff. I guess. Uh. Uh-oh. Okay, what do I have to do? Going in and out of the jungle. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, you still got something in the uh, Eggman world. I'm pretty sure you have an actual boss fight against the Zero. Okay. Hurry up. Get in it. I was in it. In it? <laughs> Could be an in it. Ow. <laughs> you, you bonked your tooth head. I bonked my head and then I hit my tooth on the cup. A glass. What's the difference between a glass and a cup? I don't. Whenever just I hear, want the material. Whenever I hear cup, I, I always think of something plastic or just not glass that you can drink out of. My tooth hurts. Yeah, I can imagine. I heard it. It was like, but like with more of a clinky noise. It was like a, it was like a, it was like a. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. I there. suffer for my crap. I suffer to bring enjoyment. I suffer for Minecraft. We should play Minecraft on the ship. <laughs> as long as it's not fucking like Feed the Beast or anything like that. You fucking... I like Feed the Beast. There's too much stuff at that point. Well, that's why you gotta focus. No! You gotta focus your, your shits on the, like one particular section. I just want to build a house and survive. I remember... I miss the days when we would do that. When we would go mining for stuff. No, no, now you gotta start building shit. You gotta start I, building rockets to go to space. That. Like, I don't want that. We couldn't even get to space. That shit was buggy as hell. Like that's, Oh god, I you just, gotta do that mini game. What mini game? Go back up. Like I just want to build a house and survive against creepers and go mining for diamonds and stuff. That's all I want. Like I'm, I don't like having all that other stuff. Like the rest of you autistic people can have it. I don't care. I don't like it. Which mini game? Go over that way. Call us autistic. You're playing Minecraft too. And you gotta do this shit. There's a difference between. I don't know what the fuck you gotta do here. I know how to do these. Okay, uh, you gotta uh, go like. These. Bam. And you go bam. And you go like. Bam. And you go like. Well, oh, I fucked it up. Shit. Okay, hold on. I, I hated that minigame in Mass Effect that was like this. No, there's not a minigame in Mass Effect like this. It wasn't exactly like this, but you it mean was the like, one in in where in the snow level, where you had to have you had those like data whatevers, and then you had to like stack and shit and like figure out get a stack on another stack or some shit. It's easy. I, I it took me a long time to do it because Final I'm not egg. autistic. You just it's not even autism. It's just a easy puzzle. Minecraft. It's just I also I also learned that puzzle from doing it in Kotor. I had trouble with it, and I just you know. Because it's the face. exact same. Dude, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Regular Minecraft is not that autistic compared to the shit you guys were doing. It's not even autistic though, because the mod does it for us. You just gotta ha you just gotta be able to mine a bunch of shit, and then build like a tunnel bore or some shit, and then it'll do that for you, no autism required. But real autism would be able to manage to make some sort of redstone minecart powered Bullshit that gets all your ores for you, but then you spent like 50 hours trying to put up some schematics on how to make that shit happen. I don't do that. I just go out and mine myself because I'm not a fucking. But what I'm saying is that's autism, and having a mod do it all for you isn't. It's just having a lot of stuff available to you. And it had a lot of building materials, and I really like that. I just prefer the regular stuff. Regular stuff's good too. So let's just play regular well, we, Minecraft. We played we played regular Minecraft for a lot, for a lot, and then we started exploring some mods. And, uh, 
Fucking never-ending items is really useful for finding, uh, for sorting your inventory and finding, uh, recipes. What is never-ending items? Or no, it's not enough items. It's, uh, like when you'd press tab and you'd see all the stuff on the side of the screen. Yeah. All the items, and you could just search for items and find the recipes. You also had a bunch of hotkeys for sorting out your, uh, inventory. But industrial craft is fucked, because it's really buggy and all, a lot of the items wouldn't stack right, and every time you try to sort your inventory, a battery would fall out. <laughs> it just it just pop out and it'd be in your hand and you're like, why the fuck do I have this? I miss I miss I just I just miss our regular days of Minecraft. I think one we're of all these just doors tired is right Minecraft. One. Huh? I think we're all just tired of Minecraft, really. Well, I just want to play regular Minecraft. Like, I'd be fine with that. I, I'm assuming this is not the right door. Yeah, there's a picture of Eggman. That's never good. He's, he just built that corridor to have a monitor to look at his own face. I think that's it. I have no reason why to, to say that, but I think that's it. Go away, deer. I'm gonna try red. Go away! What? What? We're... Oh. Next time. No, hold on. We're back at 20 again. I keep, we keep losing time because we haven't it. done this, this right in a long one. time. This is the right one. Bye. Bye. Hold on. Hold on. Ow. Oh, that was. It always feels so much better inside. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>